Hello, hello, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do the voice book, the five voice book, and the, I think it is six on my, on my title of the best books I've read. So we're going to do the first voice books. The <laughs> worst book I read in 2020 was uh, Bones of Forever. This one gave, gave, I gave a 1.5 stars. This one had a part where they called a uh, victim retarded. Basically, um, she was a victim, but she had a mental disorder and they called her retarded. And I just felt like that was not good. It wasn't really that good. Um, and um, I did not like, like anything, anything else in the this story as well. Like I didn't like the main protagonist, which is Tem Tempest, I think. I didn't like her character. She got into a lot of major trouble throughout the novel with the detectives and stuff. Like she was doing the detective work when in fact she's someone who studies bone. She doesn't do anything detective at all. So she is supposed to be studying bones, not doing detective work with the detective people. So yeah, I have problems with this novel and yeah. The next book I read was Two Grooms in a Wedding by Adrian and I don't remember her last name. Um Two Grooms in a Wedding and it is um two star it was two stars and this is about um, a girl. Where did I find a girl? I don't know. You got to find him. And a boy. I a it was by the TV. By look by the TV. I threw it by the TV. Look down on the floor. Please, don't do that, please. I told you I'm filming. Okay, so um, to the grooms is in waiting. We have the the girl and the and she meets this guy. She's um, getting married, and she meets this other guy like while she's doing it. Cause she doesn't really want to marry this rich guy, but she just feels obligated to. And I don't really like this one because of the sex movie. I don't like sex in books. It has to be done really, really well. Really, really well. Um, I don't like sex in this book at all. So, yeah. Um, and I felt like it was also, like, they were in their 30s. Like, they were grown. They were working. Both of them were working. And they were having sex, like, a lot. And I'm like, that's not believable to me. I'm, I mean, I'm... 35 and I don't do that. I mean, I have a kid, but still, it's just like it's unbelievable to me that, like, it's just not believable to me. I'm like, but yeah, these people are not young, they're not in college, they're not in high school, so yeah, don't let them have a low, they, they're gonna have a hard time, that kind of stuff. Um, the next book I read that I didn't like was Cassie Lane. This one also had a person with a, uh, um, this is also had a person with a disorder, um, in it, and, um, I didn't really like this one as well because, um, they, the characters, basically, this is a mystery. And it takes place, this one 21-year-old Cassie is missing and stuff like that. And it does take, has point of view of multiple characters, but there's too many characters in this novel. Like, too many. Like, can't keep track of the characters, can't 
you know, you don't know exactly what's going on. There's a rape scene or an attempted rape, rape scene in this book. There's um, a, um, a disorder. This is when the girl has some sort of disorder mm -hmm. in this book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I really didn't I really am like... Captain America. Be quiet, I'm talking. So, okay. they didn't really like... I didn't really like this book because of the representation of the um, said disorder. And, um... Um... It was like... It was like... She has like some sort of like... Not autism... But she was like, and she was abused too in this book. It was like a lot of abuse. There was this one girl who was like abusing her. And it took me so hard to read the movies because it's like a harder book to read. But I just didn't like this book. And I read it to start. The next book is An Unpopular Opinion with Saga, Volume 1. I read this two stars. Um, and I did kind of enjoy it, but I think like, the main thing is the art for me was just really weird. It was, it was just, there was so hey, many weird What are you stuff. doing? There was. What are you doing? I am, I am doing a five, five months hated books and stuff. Um, so, yeah. And I didn't really like the art style. I didn't really like, like. Weird. There's five people like too. What the heck is this? Really, really, and it's so creepy. Like there's a part right here, and she's like talking about it, like talking about, "Oh, will you do this to me?" And I'm like, "You are head. Nobody wants to know. No, you are head. A head. What the heck? No." Um, and there's this I really don't have weird, any really, really weird, weird graphic yeah. novel. Yeah. Um, but stop doing that. I am filming. You're going to get in trouble and get in time out. If you want to time out, you can do that. But don't do that, okay? Um, uh, so yeah, I didn't really like this book. I also didn't like how the yeah. teenager, the one that's, you know, half, half, teenager. I didn't really like her and I also felt like it was really weird. It's a sci-fi but it's kind of a weird fiction. I would consider this weird fiction definitely um, because it does have like weird art styles and it is like a sci-fi um, but it is really weird fiction. Like it's just weird. It's just like everything drawn kind of weird. And but yeah, like I like Star Trek, and that's kind of weird. But like, it's different because that was like more of the growth of power and growth of stuff. This one, they don't really have growth. They're try trying to run away and protect their child, which makes sense, obviously, because they do a child. But it's all, and it's also about this other guy who is on the run to look for these two characters to capture them. So it's taken two points of view and stuff and I really didn't like the other guy's point of view. I don't know. It was just it was awesome. Enough for one more. Yep. And one more. The last book I read, two stars I think this was two stars, was um, The Steel The Steel A Shades of Magic The Steel Print. Now this one, the reason why I gave this a two star is the art star. It's so, like look at this. It's just super dark. There's not like anything that's amazing about it. I don't see anything really amazing about this artwork. Like, it's just, yeah. But it's about the guy, um, what was his name? Maxim and, um, Maxim and hmm, I, Isra, 
who are in the Shades of Magic series, the, um, not, not this one, but the, um, the book series, and I really love mm -hmm. that, the, um, that series, but this, this book just did not compute in the way I imagined them was totally different. Why can't I see I told you I can't play right now. Go. Um, so, so yeah, I just didn't really like this one. Also, the writing was very, like, short and sweet, and you just got right into the story, so there was nothing, like, kind of explained. I like, like, an explanation, stuff like that. Just kind of, like, a voiceover type thing. I love voiceovers. But, yeah, this one was worse than Saga, I feel like. And, um, yeah, I didn't really like this book, too, either. So, yeah. So, those are my worst five worst books. Now, on to my favorite books of the year. Um, I read six favorite books this year, all five stars. The first one, I listened to it on Audible. This is called Mad About the Hat. And this is about... Um, Alice's brother who goes into Wonderland and they kind of like set her, him and the Mad Hatter up, sort of. But it's kind of weird because, it's kind of weird and weird, but it's like a romance. But it's not like heavily romance, it's more like Alice in Wonderland retelling, kind of a new adaptation of the Alice in Wonderland. I love Alice in Wonderland stories. This one was no exception. I love the banter between the main character and the Hatter. I loved the banter so much because it was like so funny. Like, you know, he wasn't really believing in uh, Wonderland and he was like disbelieving it and thinking his sister was crazy and all that jazz. And it's just super good. I highly recommend you read that book. Um, the next book I read, which was also a five, was a five star, was a review book, and this is what's called The Law of Inertia. Yeah, um, and five, this one five, was five, five. a, um, a contemporary, it was a, let's call it a hard-hitting contemporary, and it's about this guy who, um, who's basically dealing with depression. He is... Basically, he goes from home to home. He's a foster. He has foster parents, and he's adopted, so he's not necessarily like his mom. But and that's not his the original story. mom and dad died, so he um, gets um, adopted. He also is with his brother, which um, throughout the movie he has got a strong relationship with his brother, and he ends up getting depression and he gets depression throughout the novel and it's how he copes with his depression and oh how he no, like gets out boy. and how he becomes happy and it's really really good no, this book made it. me cry like fall cry and it was so amazing like the main character and the love interest there's also a love interest which is his friend it's a yeah. friend best friend's yeah. lovers um trope and it's just so good. And the ro the romance is very gen genuine and spot on. I absolutely love this book. Five stars. The next book I rated five stars was Ooh. another audio book. And this Ooh. one was, was uh, a nonfiction. And it's called Fly Girls, How Five Daring Women Defined All Odds and Made Adaptation History. <laughs> This one is um, about five women, um, including Amelia Earhart, and how um, they learned how to fly, and the life, and how they died, and like different stuff, and it's just so good. It's really good history can if you're I like Can I make into... my own video? Yeah, you can. Go over there, not here. Over there, and make your own video with your camera. You have your camera. So, this one was really, really good, and I really loved it. I just love history and learning about different things, and I learned so much about this 
in this book. It was really, really amazing. Like, I learned so much. Like, the women dealt with a lot of things. The, the, the most thing interesting thing I learned is that men, um, there was a girl that crashed. I don't remember her name specifically, but she crashed. And the, the people, the media said, she had her period. She had her period when she died. So that's what caused her to crash. And I'm like, what? I mean, we work on our periods. Like, what the? What? Yeah, so I was just like, what? It was insane. Um, and then the next um, book I read was, uh, that was five stars, was 172 Hours on the Moon by Johan Harston. This one is a science fiction horror. Um, this one deals with, I'm not going to tell you exactly what it deals with, but all you need to know is there's three characters that go to the moon um, from different, from all over, over the world, and they end up um, going to the moon, and there's something on the moon that nobody knows what it is and um they are um yeah there's something sinister waiting for them on the moon so yeah this one's really really good i really highly recommend this one it does have really cool whatever we call it um like pictures of like the different like this is like the um uh, uh, what do you call it? This is like um, the um, craft in there. Um, there's a little bit of romance, but it's not. There's not really that much romance in this. Um, zero, probably next to zero, um, because of that one character and stuff. So it's like only romance for like maybe two chapters and then done. Um, but this one's mostly a horror, and if you love horror like me, pick this up. It is bound to freak you out. I love this book so much. Um, um, the next book I read is Five Stars is, again, 13 Treasures. This is a middle grade by Michelle Harrison, and she is amazing. Like, this book is super amazing, and... It's fun. It's about evil fairies, um, basically. But we have uh, the coins. So we oh, have. Yeah. Yeah. This. yeah. We have uh, two different fairies: the evil fairies and the good fairies. And um, they, and um, this is about Tanya, and she can see fairies and stuff. And this is more of a mystery book so she um gets sent to her um grandmother's okay, manor kind of old rundown manor and um yeah and then there's a girl that was vanished in this woods in the fairy woods or whatever it's deemed dangerous but apparently it was not yeah you should read it to find out what what, what really happened with that girl so good i love the ending too the ending was a little it bit okay? it didn't yeah later not right now after i'm done um okay after i'm done so um so yeah no after i'm done i can be careful taking it out too Bobby, I'm, I'm almost done. I have one, maybe one more book. One, yeah, one book. One more book on here. Okay? And then I'm done. Then show so, it to them. Okay, hold on. And um, this because one I'm definitely... Waiting, I'm waiting to be, be the Hulk, but the Iron Man some more. Okay, yeah, yeah. But hold on, wait. Um, yeah, and... Hold on, Bobby. I'm still doing this. You gotta be quiet. So, um, this one was a five stars, and I really loved it. Um, also check out my review. Um, 
um, because I was interrupted a thousand times. And, um, but this one does go into more of a mystery. It's a mystery type book. I read this during Halloween and it was a perfect drive. Even the color cover is like really beautiful and pretty. Yeah. The last book I have that I rated five stars was the Amulet graphic novel series. Oh my god, I love this book so much. The first one and the second one got a five star for me. This one is about a no, no, girl. Is one more book? Is that a one more book? This is the last book. Okay. We'll go sit down, please. Um, I still have to talk about it. Um, and this is about um a girl, a family. Um, we have Emily, Nathan, and her mother move to an uh, ancestral home to start a new life. And then, um, um, and stuff like that. They do have a backstory in this, which I found really helpful. Like, I, didn't, I don't read the backs of anything, so I like to be surprised, um, at what this, what the novel or the graphic novel does for me, because sometimes it gives a little way too much. And I love this. This is kind of a... I don't know, like, it's interesting, it's about, it's like a magic adventure. Like, just think Studio Ghibli plus magic plus adventure. It's just so great. It's um, really geared to both um, middle grade and adults alike. So I highly recommend you pick this book as well. And those were my worst books and my best book books of 2018. Um, comment down below if you have read any of these and what you thought of them. And I hope your, your 2021 reading is doing really well. And I hope um, to see you in the next video. Um, subscribe if you want to and click the thumbs up button at the end. Bye-bye.